Thank you. Yeah, thanks for responding. But do you know how many people responded? 500. I mean, we have over 6,000. So if we have over 6,000, then we should be doing like 3,000 or 4,000. I'm joking. Anyway, uh, thanks to everybody who responded, okay? So I am also going to uh, keep... Uh, I've, been, you know, I've been talking for almost two hours. So I am going to uh, open the line, okay? Uh, take a uh, few calls so let people add their own so that you don't, you don't just sit down there and be like, oh, it's becoming boring now. Uh, you know what I mean? Let's add to it. So I'll keep the line open now. And then uh, I'll take uh, one or two calls. Okay. Soludo. Soludomp. After the 2023 elections, including what happened in uh, Anambra, Soludom publicly, shamelessly said those communities, including local government areas who failed to vote for APGA is APGA should not expect any major development from him. Now, the 97% versus 5% of Bokuari is now the Soludom professor of nonsense. Eh? God damn it. It's, it's, it's such a letdown, I have to say. But I'm not disappointed. Listen to this. I'm an embassy professor and I will not. Unless I am certain that I'm going to the way and we have the money to do it, I'm not going to make that money. So if you get lying to people, lying to people, after a while, they no longer believe in them. As you can see now, they didn't do it. If you don't have any reason, where would you see?
Unwa Ungba for Solo Dump. Hello there. Sorry for keeping you waiting, right? Hey. Mm, it's okay, my good Mokelo Soro. Hey, Sister Jumi, how are you? I'm good, though. I'm good. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, my ma, good. Ma? You know what? Um, Thank God for the job you're doing, and thank God for the way you are getting, you are cutting across everyone. Both the both the Yorubas and um I know the rest the houses, all of them, all of us. That's right. Uh mm. let me let me say this before I actually say what I want to say. Please. This Jumoke you are speaking with, you can you can you know that my name is Ola Jumoke, which shows I'm a Yoruba, right? That's right. And uh I remember sometimes ago when I was in Nigeria, a couple of years ago, I remember very well that um, uh, there was a fight in uh my twelve between between I also and the Yoruba. That's right. And uh, that and that, that that particular day, I wanted to go. I was going out. I wasn't. I wasn't actually going to my twelve, but I was going out, and I was at the uh, Barbridge, uh, Boston, because I live in Victoria Island. Right. And I was in the front of a um uh island uh, police station, and some guys, uh, some people came to me and said, "Where are you going?" I said, "I'm just going out." You know, I said, I hope you're not going to my job. I said, not at all. I said, what about? I said, what about? They said, don't go to my job. The Yorubas will kill you. I said, what are you talking about? I am a Yoruba person. They said, hmm. Omo, you look like how so. Really? <laughs> so if you see me, I actually look like houses. Honestly, I know that right from the beginning. And I know that I look like houses, you know. Hmm. I look like house uh, woman. That's how I look. And if you now mistakenly dress like one, then that's it. Uh -huh. Even if you are speaking Yoruba, uh -huh. even if you are showing your ID card, uh -huh. nobody will believe you there, Ex right? Exa exactly. Yoruba, my own Yoruba could have killed me, mistaking me for Alsa, you know, simply because Alsa and the um, Yoruba uh, uh, were, were fighting. fighting. Hmm. Exactly. You know, uh, now I'm coming to what I want to say. Julius Malema of South Africa said something. Mm. He said, if Nigerians hate themselves this much, why can't they just go up ahead and divide? There's no need of them living together. You see, uh, unfortunately, mm. yeah, Julius Malema, you know, unfortunately, uh, uh, Maigo, Nigeria is not one. We can never be one. For the first time, I, I'm not the kind that get, easily gets scared of situations. Hmm. But this particular thing that started between Igbo and Yoruba scared me in the sense that in my mind, I was looking at Rwanda's problem. It's not so hard to see. And, hmm. Exactly. Whereby two tribes, Utu and Tuzu were killing themselves. A man that married the other tribe killed his wife. Mm hmm some kill their children because they are half to uh, Utu and the other and the other side. Uh, see how much Yoruba and Igbo have, have intermarried. intermarried. Hmm. See how much they have intermarried. A mito wo ku king kini ba king Facebook king kini loku ba king Facebook. So now, what are we going to say? What are we going to do right now? What do we see? I in my in my in my in myself and one um lady from uh Edo State we were talking and I just we were just like making some points. If you see the amount of bitterness, because she she's not evil, but she's tending towards evil. If you see the amount of bitterness that some she 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 threw at me 
And I'm like, serious, even right now, I have to be aware of her. You understand? This is people I've known since in the, in the 19 something. You know, I have to be aware of her. That, um, so I'm looking at Rwanda and the situation between, in Nigeria right now. So I think at this point, you make very important points. It is now a time, everybody, we should find our level right now. This is just even the time for us to divide. Mm. Is it that we go back to the regional issues or everybody have their own country? If we still love that Nigeria so much, maybe we should have United Maybe we should have United States of Nigeria. We love that Nigeria that on so the much. terms, yeah, that if we really love that on the terms that everybody agreed to. So that anybody if, say, that if, you, if anybody violates this agreement, we are breaking up, we are going our separate ways. So yeah, fine, let's do that. I mean, there must be a conversation, exactly. national conversation in Nigeria now. Exactly. There must be. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. But the hatred that is between us right now, and it's not it's not in our own level, it's not between me and you level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is these politicians for their own pockets, for their own greedness, for their own wickedness. They kept pulling this card. Yes. I'm glad you went back to two, uh, um, 2000 and something, whereby they pulled the same card yes. and called that PDP man all sort of names. Yes. My dear brother. And they will do it again brother, the next and time. They, and as they, will, well. they will keep doing it. So they will keep, they will never stop. Until, and let me tell you something. Please. If that if, 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 by then we will finally divide. Yes. Cuba will fight themselves. People will fight themselves. Outside of Lani will fight themselves. Every of that tribe will fight themselves. So what, I, what is going on? My brother, that's what so, I want to say, John. See, uh, my sister, thank you so much, ma. At least for chipping that in. Let's hear from others too. It's such a pleasure All hearing right. from you. So that's a uh, lady Jumi uh, calling from the US. Hello, so, hello, sir. Hello, good evening, my good general. Good evening to you. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. How are you doing? Well, I'm here, surviving. I'm worried. Thanks for it's asking. It's been a long way. time. This is a this is the Ikwako, the Ikwako. Oh, the Nikpaku, my brother. Yes. Long time. Yes, yes. I thought you've kind of abandoned me. It's been a long me. time. Never. I used to, I used to come online, but to call is a problem. Right. I'm glad to hear from you today. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's um, it's been a long time. I want to thank you because I've been watching your program. I've been watching your, your. I mean, you've been telling us everything that we we need to hear. You understand? And um, I want to tell people that uh, whatever I, I'm in Nigeria now, you know, uh, it's not, nobody's going to tell me what is happening. I'm here in Nigeria. So, so you, I have know the, what you, have, you have the first time this, experience. Please share with us. Yes, I, wit I witnessed the election. I followed them to the terrace around 12 a.m. of presented election. I followed them. I saw the rigging 12 a.m. on right. 25th, on 26th of February. I was there. I went there for the following morning. So on Sunday, hmm. I saw how it was rigged. I saw how they are, they are writing results. In fact, they, saw, they asked me who am I. I told them that uh, I'm a driver because I drove myself. They thought uh, uh, they, they didn't know that I'm uh, one of um, observers. The observers. You know, I'm not a, a hmm. party member, hmm. but I, uh, I went there to observe whatever is going on. Nigerian police is so corrupt. Nigerian hmm. police is rigging election with APC people. I saw it. My, I saw it. Nobody's going to tell me what happened. I saw it myself. Nigeria police and APC people are the one rigging election in Nigeria. If you, anybody actually I have video. I have video evidence. I have video evidence. I video them. I follow them bumper to bumper. I have evidence of whatever happened on that day of 26th of February. So forget them. Whatever is happening in Nigeria is not about Europe. It's not about Igbo. It's all about elite, wicked elite who are trying to cause problems between ethnic minor, ethnic groups in Nigeria. Hmm. They are trying to cause problems between the poverty who they have made to remain poor so that they can be able to use them whenever they want to use them. Hmm. I told people, when you are done rigging elections, hmm. when you are done cleaning your brothers in the name of politics, tell, when you go to petrol station to buy fuel, tell them that you are from APC, that you are, you are, you are supported so and so person, so that they will sell fuel cheaper for cheaper you. For you. Hmm. When you go to the market, tell them that you are from APC, that your brother is a uh, Igbo, your, your papa is a Usa, you mm. want to buy food, they will sell it cheaper to you. Mm. That's my message to them. Mm. It doesn't matter, we are all suffering in Nigeria. I bought, well, 480 naira in Nigeria. I had, I had to pay for petrol station first before entering. Mm. Everybody is suffering it. Mm. It has no tribe. It has no religion. It has no ethnicity. 
we are all suffering. Thank we you. are all suffering, brother. So thank if you, you so think much. you can, you can, you can. If, yeah, thank you, Mayogun. Thank you very much. The my brother. So, uh, yeah, I have another person on the line. Um, hello there. Hello, Mayogun. Ah, Jenner. sir, AK. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great. Nice to uh, finally get today. I am, I'm, like, I'm uh, actually happy you got through up. because I can imagine what it feels like most of the time you miss it because I know you and the attempt you always put into <laughs> want to speak. So yeah, lucky you. My, and then lucky me too. So sir, you have the floor. Uh, it's great to uh, to be here today. I just That's want true. to... Um, there's nothing that is happening right now that has not happened before. Hmm. I just want to uh, let the obedience know that that uh, these are some of the reasons why people like me don't vote in Nigeria. Animal. We will not vote. I will never vote in Nigeria. Maybe when I get to the Dua Republic, I can vote, but not in this Nigeria. And if anybody believes this is new, the mm. person has not been following authentic. He hasn't. Mm. There, was, uh, there was a publication by uh, Lamido a uh, few, few uh, about two, three years a ago. Right when he was challenging the poor people, just for you, all of us to understand that, look, that they always find their point of uh, division in Nigeria. You will see the, uh, the Yoruba people that are by God. You will see the Hebrew people that are by God. They explore this. You will see some uh, religious by God people, Christian by God, Muslim by God. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, Nigeria problem doesn't have tribal man. It doesn't have religious affiliation. It's the same corrupt system that is uh, exploiting all this, whatever they can find, mm -hmm. to divide the people. So what that is that thing that will get their attention? What, does, what is that thing that can get them more angry, angry? So they keep throwing them, throwing them until one sticks. If one sticks, this time around it seems that the tribal stuff stuck, but it's taking us to where we are. We don't know now. Is now long, it's not, I mean, it's no longer just about the election anymore. It is re see, it's ripping through families, relationship like never seen before, right now. I we I want to read about just two paragraphs in what Elamido said. Please. It was very frank. Hmm. And and the title is Nigeria is too weak to break. And it says uh, the former governor of uh, Jigawa, who was quoted last week as saying that Nigeria cannot break up because member of the elite are united in preserving the advantage over the masses, irrespective of their differences of tribe and religion. Nigeria is fair. It's too weak to break. Who will break it? The honorary person in Jigawa or the honorary person in Shokoto or the honorary person in Sayeta. Is that is it the Gofoganizer or Yoruba woman in kerosene by the roadside or the Okada man in Delta? Mm. They don't have the capacity to unite because they are burdened by poverty. We are taking away from, from them their dignity, their self-esteem, they are pride and self worth So they cannot even organize. Hmm. Up there, we early unite. We will never allow Nigeria to break because once it breaks, we will lose. But the common man loses nothing. What is he losing? It's already in air. He cannot lose anything more than this air. Hmm. This is what he said. From I him. remember. So, so when you are Yoruba man fighting an Igbo man, just know because they want to keep all, both of you in air. If you are Igbo man fighting Yoruba man or Yoruba man fighting Igbo man, they are succeeding on you. You hmm. don't know that. They want to keep both of you in perpetual poverty. Just know that that's what you are getting for eating yourself, for killing yourself, just because of a politician. And my second part of the message today as well is Sorry. for people who don't understand that uh, the establishment cannot fight establishment. Hmm. The only revolutionary candidate in this election was Omar Yele Tewure, and all of you refused to look at his side. You are, you are trying to fight establishment with an establishment. Until you start to get the uh, revolutionary spirit in you, hmm. Nigeria is going nowhere. Uh, hmm. Let me tell you tomorrow, yes, sir. Obi may become advisor to this government, to Tunubu. Hmm. They will all pali pali and everybody will move forward. If you lose your life, you are you just lose it for nothing, zero. So mm. just get that in your mind that all these so politicians, 
Yeah, thank you so same. much, Sab. Don't let me let, let I, me give Yeah, me. I know, I know, you know, there's so many people on the queue, right? And I love the fact that uh, yeah, you've been very precise uh, with uh, your own yeah. message, right? Let me take another call, sir, okay? Yeah. I appreciate that thank so much. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Great. Now, I have another caller on the line here. Hello. I'm very precise. Uh, one name oh. One name. My brother. Oh, one made the number, one made the call. Only you have the entitlement of one name. Because I got it from my own one name, my own brother from another mother. <laughs> oh, Sita. Yeah. Sir. All right. How are you? Good job, my brother. Thank you for that. I'm fine. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, what I want to say here is, um, is you see, um freedom freedom has a cause it does if we think that oh is everything about um revolution to keep nigeria together hmm. i am telling you the gospel truth is not going to work explain i keep you remember i told you the problem about Nigeria is the constitution. But believe me, with this 2023 election, we'll find out that we've, they've gone beyond that. Hmm. They've gone beyond the constitution because they make laws that they don't even follow. No. Even the one that favors them, but they don't even obey. Hmm. So when people are thinking that it is only a one-man action no, that you think that only one man will stand on the podium and say, let us fight this thing out. Mm -hmm. If you think it works that way, it is never going to work. Mm -hmm. Go and look at what happened in Egypt. It started with the ordinary people. It did not start with anybody who is a leader of anything in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So, if we don't feel the pain, if we don't feel the pain, we will never react. Right. You know, it has nothing to do with um, people. Be, it has nothing to do with It has nothing to do with um, 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 neither Sunday book, but it has something to do with us. It's our mind. It's our mind. It's our fight. Hmm. If we decide to, we will get it done. But if we don't, we will never. Because everybody is following the path of me chop, make you chop. Mm -hmm. According to Wiki, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which is, if they give to these people, they give to these people. Chop and shop Nigeria Limited. Yes. Yeah, do you think, common sense, do you think this thing they say rotational government, do you think it's the normal thing to do any society in the world Mm. That practices it. Trust me, my brother. That society is 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 swimming in the ocean of corruption. In America, for God, for example, nobody dictates where the girl, the, the president comes from. Mm. Donald Trump, he lost the election in New York where he was born, but yes, he became the president of the United States of America. That is when you will know that the system is working. But when we keep saying, oh, it's a ton of Yoruba, it's a ton of Yubo, it's a ton of Hausa, it's a ton of FPC, BBO. Mm. These things are not going to work. Of course. What is it telling us? What is telling us is that we are not one. Mm. Let us go our separate ways. We give them, the, even the white, the so-called British that we blame and blame and blame. I won't blame them because they gave us a blueprint to succeed or success. And what was the blueprint? Regional government. Mm. Control whatever you have. But did we follow it? No. We didn't follow it. So these things that we are talking about, I keep saying it. When I say that education, they destroyed education. Education is not certificate, for God's sake. It's not just certificate. Education is knowledge. Mm-hmm. 
education ability, is knowledge to learn you, on learn and at the same time put uh, you know once you know better you do better that's what is called education you don't wallow in bigotry yes the ability to have mm -hmm. yes ability to have the mind of your own yes you choose the life that you want to live i used to tell people in america here you have beggars but if you want to become a beggar you become a beggar it's your it choice. will be by choice hmm. it's, it's your choice so let nobody be confused about anything and say, oh, that we are looking at, we are looking at. The only thing I tell people right now, even if everybody is supporting people be right now, but he has done his own, what are we doing is our question. What do we think is our question? He's not going to be affected. He has money to buy whatever he wants to buy, live the kind of life he wants to live. But let us think about our own individual self. Is these people helping us or they are killing us? Hmm. Today, there is, a, there is my just one thing. Today, mm -hmm. my friend, my late friend, his younger brother that lives in America here. Right. I looked at his WhatsApp story. I know he has been complaining himself. He's taking side in this um, bigotry that is going on in charade. Lagos. Hmm. This was charade. And I saw what he put on his WhatsApp story. He was trying to talk about, there was a comment they attribute to the Rothschild that the Jews are meant to serve and all those things. Mm. I called him immediately. I told him, if you don't bring that nonsense thing that you put there down, don't call my phone again. again. Are you stupid? You yeah. don't know if they if they trace you, they, they could trace my line. That's right. And think that we are the same thing. Hmm. You don't say any nonsense about the Jews there. So, that is the way it is. We are only helping these stupid people that call themselves elite hmm. to become what they want to become. I just need people to understand it. The fight is our own. It is. And it's, it's turning to Sunday it as well. People. Thanks so much, Osita. Yeah? Yes, yeah, it's not uh, for Sunday, bro. I uh, know. Thank, th th thank you, Baba. Thank you very much. You stay God safe, you. Osita. I have another person on the line uh, here. Hello there. How are you, my girl? I am very How well. My How very well, sir. Yeah, nice to see nice to, nice to hear. Finally, nice to yes. Hear your yeah. I know. Thank you for uh, joining us. Do you mind yes, mute okay. the, you can mute the broadcast possibly or leave the room. I can hear myself again, if it's possible. I'm, I'm muted. Can you see me? I can hear you now. It's not echoing again, I think. Okay, all right, okay, fine. But all of right. us can hear you too, please. Go on. Yes. So, well, we come to uh, things that have been going now. So, we're looking for, we, we are looking for solution. Yes, we are. And then I got two solutions that will solve Nigerian problems. And I want us to discuss this. Please share with yeah? us. Mm -hmm. right. let's, make, let's not make no mistake. People, I see all these politicians, whether for everybody, uh, whether you're contesting for governorship, a uh, president, or House of Assembly, House of Rep, people are spending millions of millions of millions of pounds, millions of millions of dollars, or millions of millions of naira. Yeah? Fortune. Mm. Spending a lot of money. Mm. Money that you cannot account for. No businessman spend money on wisely like that. No, no. At the end of the day, if you spend such money, there's no other two ways about it. The only reason you're spending this money to get into the office is to go back there and steal. That's right. Because they have to recoup this money. You have to. You can. Nobody will spare, put money in the bush and just throw the funds. No. And the only way you can do it is to steal. So the essence of these people spending this fortune is not for good governance. No. It's not because of they like you. No. And spending this fortune, this fortune they're spending, they're not spending it. Because of Yoruba, because of Igbo, yeah. because of Yoruba, it's investment. because of this. Political, this is the money coming from his pocket. Mm. This is money coming from his pocket. That's right. So he is going to get this money. Yeah? Yeah. Right. right. If you want to solve Nigerian problems, let's say, okay, let's, 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 let's now see that everybody wants to be sincere. Mm -hmm. We've to got two times. This period of uh, election, uh, the future, the plan, bigotry, everything. We we'll, we'll, we want to move forward. Mm -hmm. Let's forget about the past. Okay, let's move forward now. Let's bring Nigerians together. Right, right. If we, I'll, I'll put this into you straight away. 
Right. If we have in our constitution a law, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a little bit barbaric, but not barbaric, or probably some so people will say we very uncivilized. Yeah, we can polish it, right? Exactly. It may sound barbarian, right? Exactly. It may sound barbaric, I mean, so barbaric, but yeah, let me hear it. We, we are all here okay. now. Go on, please. Exactly. Sir. So if, you, if we put in our constitution, in our constitution, I have to be very conservative with this amount of money. Mm. Because I, I value I value human life, mm. so I will not say. Let me make it this way. Okay. Anybody in Nigeria, right? I don't care the office you are, whether you are local government or the. If you steal more than one million, one million dollar, if you steal when I mean one million dollar, public money, mm. taxpayers' money, mm. if you steal more than one million dollar, mm. and you have a law and you go to court, police. Your court and you and they find you guilty that you steal more than one million dollars, you will face a, a firing squad. You go for public execution. How many politicians you think like that China, will be there? Like they do in China. But if I how many politicians if, if, if they now steal if they now steal nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, just maybe one dollar to one million by law. That's not one million. So what do you think? <laughs> Because you know, let me tell you something. Thieves are so no, the they are so tricky. The amount of money it should be, a, like I say, to be a bit. You know, you know what? About about human life. Okay, okay. See, I was just trying to be to be a little bit, uh, you know, sarcastic there. Okay. You know why I pointed that out? Because you are so specific, right? What will qualify yes. for firing squad? That's why I intentionally use that, okay? <laughs> yes. Because you are so specific, like one million. Because I mean, Nigeria is too rich. Nigeria is too rich. Nigeria, thieves are smart. So if I steal 999,000, 999 pounds, that's one pound before one million, then I can escape a firing squad. Maybe. But I get what you mean, sir. When you steal money in China, see, yeah, when you are found least, guilty in China. We can that. No, no, no. When yes, you are found guilty of stealing money in China, sir, when, when you are found guilty of stealing public money in China, okay, even now you yourself go tell your yes. family, say they're not going to see you again. Before they arrest you, because you know that they are likely not going to see you again, life in jail or death, it doesn't matter how much you steal. That's how they do it in China. So maybe we should not be specific. Okay. Like if you steal one million or if you steal hundred thousand, because they are smart thieves, sir. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be very merciful to them for their merciful. life. Okay, like you must do something that big before we fire you. Okay. That big. Let's, be, let's put it that way. Right, right. Because a lot of them see a lot of a lot of them see millions of dollars. I'm trying to be very merciful to their lives. I see, I see. Yes. We should show you mercy. Tamper, tamper that tamper that justice law, with mercy. Yes. Trust me, if you have that law today, right. if you see more than that, Nigeria would die. No, nobody, 90, almost 60 percent of these people buy for us. You will never see them contest for public office. Hmm. They will never appear. <laughs> They will never come. I know. They will all run away. Something will, to at least they some, they some, something to, to, to scare them. Something that they know they that if I am caught them. and I'm guilty, that may be my hand. Something yes. I get that in the constitution. Baba, thank and you so much. Hmm? There Let is me. one solution I want to give you. Another solution another for one. this. Okay. For, for, okay. For, yeah, another one for this our struggle quickly is yes, that people make no mistake. We cannot get this thing by going to court. You know, the court is not going to work. Hmm. The only way, if this solution is not there, then we have to divide the country. And if we have to divide At the country, this mm -hmm. this be the one, the France or wherever you can, we have to start preparing for armed struggle. Hmm. Definitely. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Let me if take a look. There's nothing like armed struggle. It's not going to work. Thank you. I know. I know. That's they will push us there. Are they not already pushing people there now? They will push people there eventually. Oh. So thank you so much. I'll take uh, another call. Hello. Hello, Baba. Oh, yeah. Baba. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, Baba, you need to mute that uh, one. No? Mute that one so that we can hear ourselves. Eh? Oh. How are you doing, Baba? Okay. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Everywhere. Yeah. Good evening. More blessing, Baba. More blessing to you, man. I'm in Lagos. Uh, You're in, in Lagos, Lagos right now, which is great. Yes, sir. Baba, share with us what's going on in yeah. Lagos. The election is over. Yeah. I was there doing the presidential election. Oh, you've returned. 
tell you the governor chief election. That hatred is too much. Hmm. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah. Even though me got it just to go. Oh no, you mean that be you do you boy? So all this over for all this over for go face to face. I will go I will judge go to judge you your body. So about him, we will go more joy bo. If you see anybody, we go into when you are more joy bo, more joy bo. You are the potential target later. If they call you more joy bo, you they laugh. Baba, you may be the type of go on. I have a friend. So something in the motel is Peter Obi. Nipe, eh, he did him. Oh, Nipe to be my president. I love you, the support. Eh, hey, they like you, bo. Hmm. Eh, hey, understand. I love you, the support. Now, now, bro. I want you, bo, my fee, cole. Hmm. But you want me, you want me. Eh, they like you, bo. They forget to go buy in the park. That's in the film. I intimidate you. Eh, twenty, eh, twenty, eh, twenty, eh, twenty, forty. People do. I want people to cross the wall. Or to our water, or to our bed, or to our last or jar, or our back for you. I can even show you that we got to our bed or jar. We are one that we are giving for MIC business in your head. Our bed, Coco, Coco, Saria. So, what of them? You came to beg and all that. You saw that, Baba? I have yes. Yes. I don't want to like clowns in our people. Oh, no. Hmm. It is well. Thank you so much oh, for sharing that. Oh. Hey, I don't, I've lost him anyway. So he just told us there that uh, he witnessed the hatred. He witnessed the vile firsthand when he was uh, in Nigeria during the election. So uh, another eye to eye witness. Hello there. Hello, my ego. Hello, sir. How are you? Mm. Fine, thanks. Um, you see, in 1994. Yes, sir. During the hello, yeah, Can you hear me, Please, mm -hmm. yeah. You see, in 1994, when the Rwandan genocide started and lasted for a hundred days, that's right. It was pre-social media, mm -hmm. and now that we have pretty much an average citizen, is pretty much a walking broadcaster, a walking CNN in their rights. Mm. And the amount of information that is floating through the pipeline. Should I want to go away in Kanton Rawali? It's just a matter of in Kanton Rawali, it's a doubt. Tension on this, it's a doubt. It can get out of hand at any given moment. Yes. She wants to go away and I'm going to make it in Nigeria. One inhabitable farm of two new Ogbo. I want to go away and I'm going to go away. Let's make the diaspora uninhabitable for their pastime. So for anyone who lives in North America, and I will put a post there, your petition should go to the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. When you search Canada.ca, that would take you to that website is listed there. Just drop your note on their website. Okay. Many of them have become of America, American their family they, they, they married, they, 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 they found all sorts of means to become Canadian residents. But you know one thing that once you become an instigator of Hate crime. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I can't be there. My citizenship is not well. So, so yes. be a good or Jackie anywhere in we the diaspora. We should never make Uba anywhere comfortable for them and their supporters. We should never make any no. part of the diaspora. If you see them from anywhere the on social media, the, inciting people back in Nigeria, them. posting nonsense on social media, yes. just go there and report yes. them. Leave the rest for the authority. And remember, countries. they will handle it. In internet does not sleep and it doesn't forget. Internet doesn't forget. So, it doesn't forget. So, everyone, you know, you, you, you this, you, you're not competing. This is not about financial. You just capture and dump 
just dump the data. Mm-hmm. They will sort it all out. Yes. Everybody, Lulu, Cotton, JMB, mm-hmm. and this, his pictures tell a thousand words. Mm-hmm. They can't hide. So we will inundate them with electronic data. Please. See, they can do, they can, they, they can attack, they can be violent. Yeah, nobody has, uh, nobody has this, this monopoly to violence. No. It should be an intellectual, it should be an intellectual warfare now. Right. So we should not make any other part of the world Don't go onto their platform. Be, for them. Be, be throwing the no. same uh, tribal world of you. Just no, watch don't get what into the tribal Screenshot it. Copy the link. And you report, are, report it. That's it. Mm-hmm. The video, wherever you see them, in video, in, in video in audio, go there and report them. Not to Facebook. It. If you on Facebook, uh-huh. don't report, if you don't, don't report to Facebook or Twitter. We are no, no, no. Facebook. Yeah. Information. You, you go, go to, to the, this website and report them as uh, inciting genocide as hate in crime, Nigeria. Inciting genocide in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And guess what? They will take special interest they will. because. Uh, because just being a member of their society, pretty much you are a national a national threat. Yes. So anything threat. Obama bring a national threat, you become a national threat. Mm-hmm. So if you are a citizen, even if you don't have the uh, residence permit of this they part of the world, you. it doesn't matter. They will find this this bunch of rogues and Thank they will so they will much. put them on notice. Thank That's you. my contribution for the night. No, Thanks for the it's great so job. Valuable. <laughs> I know then that yeah. there are so many people who have an idea of what I was talking about. And I'm glad that you came up yeah. to even kind of uh, explain it further. Thank you, sir. Eh? It, I appreciate it's this. in the inbox. Check, check, the, check. Just go there. Check the comment section. You'll see. And I'll keep posting it there. Please. God bless you. Comfort. Uh, here, I have another caller. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mario Gu. Hello, sir. How are you? Well, thank you. I'm enjoying your program. <laughs> thank you. This is uh, this uh, bigotry that is going on now. It has mm. been going on for a very long time. I remember in two, year 2000, I was in Mina. I was a teacher in one of the secondary schools here at the international school. Right. The Tell us more. Yoruba people were slaughtered kill like foul that period they were even cherry people to my pregnant women dumping them in the world we were held up in the school that we couldn't go home because i'm not i was a sarcastic i was a so they will see me as a robot man hmm. so all of us i was a youth copper then all of us in that school we were in that school that we couldn't go home because of what was happening so that now that's what's happening in in Lagos now, Yoruba is cleanable. Hmm. Uh, these are not the real the Yoruba people. These are Yoruba talks doing it. Exactly. Any good Yoruba people will not do that thing. Hmm. I lived in Lagos for many, many years before I tra- traveled abroad. Many good Yoruba people will not do this thing that I do, people are doing now. Now these, these jobless uh, cretins now who are entitled, they feel like they are supposed to be they are supposed to be rich, but they are not. How come the non Yorubas yeah. are coming here to be rich? Then our leaders must have given them that chance, but they didn't give us. So they are entitled yeah. and they are jealous. Hardworking Yorubas are making friends with egos, making business partners with them, making money yeah. with egos. The Yorubas I know who have egos as friends, they will tell you, I've made so much money that we ever even think of in my life through that guy. So mm-hmm. who are these entitled yeah. guys that are claiming that egos are coming to take their land? The jobless political oceans. Please, continue. And the, the political, the political leaders are the people selling those ideas to them. See? And they are, they are working on it. Mm-hmm. You see, like I'm, what, what I'm seeking in Nigeria, we can eat Yoruba I be kidding you not know, that time I said now nah, if I be kidding in, in the Yoruba land that, that I was happy. Nigeria is not one. It's better you don't love the Igbo. You don't let them go. Why are you keeping them? Why are you holding them in those? Let them go, let them go and develop their country because they're country. That's just what I want to say. Thank you so much. Uh, uh I, you. thank you. I'll take another one. Uh here. Um hello there. Hello, my good general. The prince, prince, prince Jejema. General, Baba. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, Baba. We are enjoying you, Baba. 
I'm enjoying all of you tonight as well. Like, I'm enjoying myself. And thank you, at least, for enduring me. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> thank you, Baba. Go on. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thanks, Baba. Um, my good general, yes, I want to start it this way. You see, I want to start it by saying that the person will hold somebody for granted and refuse to let go. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That person automatically is holding himself. He's holding himself that is the too, because himself no go go. Yes, hmm. yes. That, that is the situation of Nigeria and uh, the Bo, uh, um, the Biafra and the Igbos. What do you call it? Hmm. Yeah, uh, Biafra and the Igbos. That is one. My good general. That one. This is two. How long have you been thinking yeah. about that thing? That deep boy, they get me thinking, Sha. So if I hold somebody now, I say you know they go anywhere. <laughs> Oh there, yeah. say there, you know they go anywhere. <laughs> say let me go, leave me. You know they go anywhere. Uh, now two of us know they go uh, anywhere. If we are actually being, so, nah. being honest, myself know they go anywhere. Now so. uh, wow. nah, nah. nah, so. that's deeper. You know, you know, what, you, know in, you know why? Let me just a little bit of expansion before I go to the other one. All right. You see, Baba, why I say so? You know, uh, everything that or tax that they are trying to put on everything that Igbo man is, hmm. uh, is uh, doing in his commerce. Every tax that Nigeria want to put on Igbo man, they continue to put tax in the uh, seaport, on the street, uh, custom we do their own, police we do their own, then local government we do their own, federal government we do their own. At the end of the day, the Igbo man, after all those suffering, Every of those tax, he will add it into the his, uh, goose that I want to sell, and uh, before and add his own gain, and the, the whole Nigeria is the people that are going to buy it. Are you getting me, mm-hmm. Maigu? Mm-hmm. So now, so a person will hold person for grand hold himself. That is one. Wow. Secondly, see, Maigu, I want the Eurobas and the Igbos to listen. They, there are two types of Yorubas in this matter. Uh, one is those that want Yoruba nation. They know that Nigeria is not workable and Nigeria can, is not serving the purpose of ordinary Yoruba man. No. The other ones are the ones who are on the pampas of Turungu waiting for, to grab one position or the other. Hmm. You know, I want to my jembe. Mm-hmm. You understand I me? So I talk. Yeah, mm-hmm. and those ones they are just in the minority. I want people, our the the their friends to know this, you know, so that you know what is going on. They are in ten, maybe five percent. Let me put it that way, because majority of the Yorubas are suffering in Nigerian arrangement. Okay, so it's a lack of Yoru Turumbu and uh, all the Pampas, uh, all the Pampas gangsters. That I in five percent, all they want is that I want to have my jembe, I want to imposition Joseph So let's uh uh-huh. so the, what we are what, the Biafrans also have this kind of people in Biafra we have at least ninety nine percent wants to go for Biafra. It's one percent eh, that are those that are in the uh, Asorok, eh, 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 Asorok, mm. the like mm. of this Soludo. Tolu Dongwike and uh, Devil Romai and uh, this uh, Ozodimba, uh, that uh, mm-hmm. hopeless Ozodimba. Ozodimba. You understand? They're like, uh, they are those that are in those group. And they will that do anything so that, to remain, uh, uh, to maintain their seat on that table. Exactly. To, to see the, the, they remain in Nigeria the way Nigeria is. Hmm. The Fulani is also 90% of them or 95% of them are suffering. They are all, all in the bush. All of, and all with, of uh, us they collect for Nigeria. If we are all being truthful, uh, Namdikano said, "If Nigerians are being honest, right, what the Africans are fighting for, every part of Nigeria should be fighting for the same thing. Like we don't want to be part of this anymore. Not, we are talk- no, 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 no. We want to leave. Please, we don't want to be part of this anymore. Instead of all of Nigeria to be fighting Biafra, they should be fighting like Biafrans. So, That's what he said. Exactly. If exactly. We are being so, Mama Yegu, Mama Yegu, in summary. The idea, because Trumbu, when you say a thief, a thief is a master of a thief. There's a name we call it. We call it a berima. It's not ordinary thief. 
Hmm. You understand? The chief, which is higher than chief, is called a berima in a, in a Biafran uh, Igbo language. You understand? It's called what? Eh? Eberima, Eberima. 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 Yes. That's a, that a strong is, thief, or what do you call it? The, the, the father of thieves. That the is chief, Eberima. The chief thief. The chief thief. And it's very, very Baba, You come back from Shrine. Where did they bring all this thing this evening, Prince? It's like you have, you Baba, have written them down man. for a while. You just said, okay, I want I, to hear that. Go on. I don't be old man. I you're old man. No, you're old man, man already. I don't, I don't but this wisdom, don't eh? It can't be like, say, person, say, say, you know, we just say drop arm, lamba like that. They drop arm. You got the one that say, oh, you get out of stock before you came yeah. on. Go on. I won't forget see, that. See, Baba, the plan of Turumbu is to destabilize anybody that is thinking about Yoruba nation hmm. so that they can continue a Nigerian project. And Nigerian project is the way he captured the uh, Lagos state. He wants to capture Nigeria fully into his pocket, not in the pocket of the Yoruba nation. Okay. Thank you, the prince. Ma, take this so one. On, eh? on the fa oh, on the prince, final our, note, our time Baba. is almost done. Um, okay. On the final one, I thought you said uh, on in the, summary. When you said in summary, I on, thought that was the last one. So on the final one after summary, okay, I'll listen quickly. Uh, okay, Baba. Uh -huh. On the final note. Uh, pastor Aneshi, I want to use him as a point of contact to every mega pastor, mega uh, private jet, and mega titan offering uh, pastors in Nigeria. Right. I'm talking to them. They should wake up. Hmm. Muslim, Muslim ticket is a terrorist agenda. They must wake up now. Pastor Aneshi told this church member yesterday to pray, to pray that. Uh, uh, if uh, if uh, Tinubu uh, is, uh, is uh, the will of God, uh, it will be sworn in. But if it's not, they should pray you. that you no go reach you. there. I say, well, okay. Thank we'll you. Thank you. That is the the Bible say, don't pray amiss. That is praying. That's a wrong prayer. Wrong, very wrong uh, prayer that is praying. Right. Because if you are telling people to pray that prayer, God is no longer interfering in the affair of Nigeria because those pastors. They are there instead of advising their millions of members that Nigeria solution is only by referendum. You mm. understand? Before uh, our restructuring, before any restructuring, before anything called election, election at all. They, mm. refuse, they refuse to do that. Now, the only solution is to act like a Reverend Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, no day for church, they pray, they uh, speak in tongues. He marched the streets, action by action, the whole world. You, only, you can only show your grievances through marching on the streets, and the government will recognize that you are aggrieved. Without that, you sit in your room, you are speaking in tongues. Mm. It is useless. It you is. are praying and fasting. The Bible says prayer without work is dead. He's Thank dead. you, my good general. Thank you so much, the Prince, Prince Jojaman. I am supposed to take my last call. I am worried that uh, if I do that, I may not live here tonight. There's so many people who want to get in tonight and then uh, our time is so, so up. Now, I am going to beg you uh, that uh, we will have to shift that telephone call to tomorrow or next one. So thank you, every one of you who joined me uh, tonight. I have uh, shared what I think you, uh, you should know. Other people have added their own uh, contribution to make it kind of more broad. However, a lot of you also know what you know. Okay? So if for any reason, which I believe you would, come across uh, their propaganda propagating this hatred and some of, some of them are this subtle, divisive social media posts, I implore you I know it's not going to be easy, but for the sake of your own mental health, eh, I implore you not to engage them. Whether you are Yoruba, whether you are Igbo, in the coming days, you are going to see more of these eight full messages from APC. They just don't know how to stop. Do you get? I mean, so did you get that? They don't know how to stop. They probably want to stop, right? But they just don't know how. This is the only thing they know. When you box them into a corner, they start lying. And during lying, they start instigating people. This is what they do. 
and you should expect more and worse in the coming days. Don't engage them. Eh? Preserve your own mental health. Think of uh, the type of messages you are going to be engaging on social media. I'm saying this to you because with Obi, eh, who is about to uh, beam the, 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 the biggest uh, touchlight they've ever beamed on uh, Tinumbu since his name first popped up in the political arena of Nigeria. What Peter Obi is about to do has never been done in the history of uh, election or politics in Nigeria. It is scary and it is going to be interesting. When you box APC to a corner like that, when you try to corner them like this, the best tool they use is propaganda. And when they do them, they have their targeted audience. Like what happened in this election, there will be responses, including violence. I am very much happy that the Yorubas have also signed up to say, Tifnumbu will not destroy the heritage and then the image of Yoruba people. Because of his selfishness, his self-ambition, and his greed, of course we know there are those uh, street oceans, these crumb eaters, crumb chasers, all risers, ass lickers, that will do and say anything just to defend uh, the drug baron, the sick, demented uh, relic called Tifnumbu. But dragging the Yorubas into your political bigotry, that is too much for the genuine, I mean, so the genuine Yorubas to take. Your bigotry has now hidden into the, uh, hitting deeper into the uh, united the fabric of uh, the Yorubas and the Igbos in Yoruba land. Marriages, homes, you are tearing and destroying relationship. Just with that uh, bigotry, we will fight back. Our fight is not uh, usually physical. But we'll touch you and go touch you. MC Olueron, eh? And go touch him. Everything that we know they hold dear outside Nigeria, eh? Will be taken away from them and returned back to Nigeria for them. And they should use it there. Now, listen, this may sound like nothing will happen. Look at me very well. Not even Kalu can confid I mean, confidently say, Nothing they happen. We have a we have a special interest in that MC Olu Aaron. All the people that were killed in Lagos on the 18th of March, all the voters, whether Yoruba, Igbo, or what have you, killed in Lagos, MC Olu Aaron's name will be at the top of the petition of those the whole world will ask what happened to those people. The video where he threatened people. Including the one that he staged a fake apology. Then what happened the following day when they were chasing and they're looking for egos? We will chase them down. MC, after your election, you will need a vacation, Abby. You would like to go to America for your own vacation and all that. Of course, you can always start. I mean, you can start uh, or start preparing for your vacation. In fact, eh, you might actually have to go for your last vacation before the whole thing. I hit the right people that will eventually stop you in one of those trips. We'll make sure of that. Not just in America. Eh? It's going to be all over the world. You know, it will be, like, be like saying a pankwe. So even if you, are, if you escape this one, if they shield you from that one, if you, you know what I mean? You will know that your life is not like, it's, going to be, it's not going to be the same anymore. That one that you, they can just write your ticket and you, they go to America, they do video. Now you will have to go about watching your back. Yeah, I mean... When that time comes, eh, Mayego will be here to report it, including Tifnumbu. When they will now turn Tifnumbu to your abacha, it will not leave Nigeria. Sure, you get it, will have to stay there and die there because of the fear of what is likely going to happen if he leaves. So, don't think elections do, I mean, elections don't have consequences, eh? Oh, more, yeah, me, elections have consequences, eh? And you should be bold enough. Don't be a coward eh? to hone up to your own actions. I'll see you some other time. Enjoy your evening. And don't forget, like this broadcast before you go. Mm? Subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everybody who actually finally heeded that, I mean, that call. You subscribed. And I think I may actually be heading to 78, 80,000, 100,000. Take me to 100,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. 
Peace. I'll see you some other time. Good night.